Tressa Middleton, 27, of Bathgate, Scotland, gave birth to her first child when she was 12 years old. After being raped by her brother Jason, she became pregnant and kept it a secret. Jason was sentenced to four years in prison in 2009 after DNA evidence established that he was the father. Ms. Middleton is now 27 years old and expecting her second child with Darren. After giving birth at the age of 12, a woman who became Britain's youngest mother announced she's expecting another child. Tressa Middleton from Bathgate, West Lothian, made headlines in 2006 when it was announced that she was pregnant only a few months after graduating from elementary school. Tressa fell into melancholy and struggled with alcohol and cigarette addictions, so her child was placed in foster care. Years later, when it was confirmed that her baby's father was her brother, Jason, who had raped her, the grim reality behind her story was exposed. For his heinous crime, he was condemned to four years in prison. Tressa has since rebuilt her life with partner Darren Young, and the couple just announced that she's 20 weeks pregnant with their second child. Tressa Middleton from Bathgate made headlines in 2006 when it was announced she was pregnant only a few months after graduating from elementary school. She and her partner, Darren Young, are expecting their second child. Darren, Tressa's spouse, posted a picture of their birth scan to social media earlier this year, saying, It's another girl. Ariana is very happy. Ariana is the couple's first child, born in October 2017, weighing 8 pounds 1 ounce, following a 24-hour labor. Tressa was the talk of the town in 2006 when it was reported she was having a baby at the age of 11, and a media frenzy erupted around her family. Tressa had had a tumultuous childhood as her mother, Tracy Talens, battled addiction and Tressa was forced to attend late-night parties. Jason, her older brother, sexually molested her since she was 7 years old, and she became pregnant by him when he, then 16 years old, drunkenly raped her four years later. He bribed me, blackmailed me, at times to do it. He'd claim he'd tell Mum about it. He'd hand me things like marijuana, alcohol, and cigarettes, Tressa told the Daily Mail ten years ago, or he'd threaten me. She kept the baby's father's identity hidden, and the two were placed in foster care until she broke down and informed a social worker what had truly happened when she was 14 years old. In 2009, Jason, who was 19 at the time, was sentenced to four years in prison after a police investigation and DNA test revealed Tressa was speaking the truth. He was released from prison for the offense, according to Mail Online. Following the incident and her subsequent collapse, her daughter was taken from her and adopted in 2008. Except for a twice-yearly letter, Tressa's had no access. She developed a 400-pound-a-day heroin habit at her lowest moment in 2001. But with the help of a counselor, she was able to clean up her act and begin a new life with Darren. Tressa's pregnancy ended in a miscarriage a few weeks later, shattering their lives. Her mother died abruptly three days later at the age of 41 from pneumonia. She'd have to wait four agonizing years to conceive again, and she thought she'd never hold a kid in her arms. Tressa hasn't seen her brother since her mother's burial, but she still gets nightmares about the sex abuse she suffered as a child. Tressa was previously expressed her disappointment at not being able to keep her first child. When Jason's abuse was discovered, she was dubbed a lying bitch and her relationship with her mother fell apart. She officially announced her relationship with Darren in 2010, claiming it was the first time a man had ever treated her kindly. I felt pure ecstasy the moment Ariana was born, Tressa said of the pain of losing her first child to the social care system. There were times when I felt like I wouldn't be able to have another child, as if it wasn't meant to be. However, I feel terrible that Ariana is with me and my older daughter isn't. She's still the first thing that comes to mind when I get up and the last thing that comes to mind when I go to bed. I adore her and I will always be her mother. I can't truly be content without her. Ariana will grow up without knowing her older sister, which kills my heart. Ariana will always know she has a big sister, she told the Sunday Mirror in 2018. Even though she doesn't comprehend, I'm talking to her about it now. She'll never be kept hidden. The extreme opposites, Ariana is happy and content, whilst my other daughter is outspoken and fiery. But I'm confident they'll get along. If Ariana's sister was here, they'd play games together, I tell her. I sincerely hope they'll be able to meet one day. To me, that would be the world. In the meanwhile, all I want for Ariana is for her to enjoy a normal upbringing where she feels loved and secure. In another similar story, Mum confessed she covered her baby bump under baggy school uniform and punched her belly in the hopes it would go away after a shameless upbringing. The contraction started as Emma Lewis was doing her homework. The 13-year-old had spent the last nine months hiding her growing baby belly behind her baggy school uniform. Her secret was finally revealed when she gave birth to Chanel. 
Emma grew raised on a poor council estate in Birmingham. She skipped school, dated older men, and wanted to explore drugs. She became a mother and changed her life. Emma, age 28, living in Maidstone, Kent, tells her incredible story. I grew up on a council estate with a welfare mother. We were like the shameless family from Channel 4. I was a decent girl in my strict Catholic primary school, but that changed in high school. I was quite mature. I was 10 with boobs and the second tallest in my year. Many boys noticed me, including older boys. My head was the focus. I wanted to be a lawyer and do good in my life. But as soon as I entered high school, I became popular and went astray. That's how I became pregnant so early. I met my daughter's dad in early January 2003. He was 17 and I was a virgin. I was just 13 when I lost my virginity to him. We only had sex twice and had a bad time. A month later, I missed my period. My breasts were sore and I felt weird. I knew, I think I'm pregnant, I said. But I panicked and didn't tell anyone. I lied to my friend about my period. I know that seems dumb, but I hoped the pregnancy would end. I just thought it'd go. It sounds absurd now, but I hoped it would vanish. I didn't take a pregnancy test, but my tummy grew after five months. I punched my stomach in the bath one day. I just wanted it gone. I didn't imagine myself as a mother. I was 13. That's when I used to be sick. Nights made me ill. I'd feel ill all night and sleep on the bathroom floor. I recall being in the science lab one day and suddenly feeling nauseous. Some people said I was sick or pregnant, but I denied it. I bought oversized school clothing to disguise my baby bump. Tressa Middleton, Britain's newest mother. Tressa Middleton had her first child at the age of 12 after her brother Jason raped her. Her firstborn was later adopted. Tressa said she's haunted by the absence of her firstborn while recalling the exquisite delight she felt when Ariana was born. I felt absolute ecstasy when Ariana was born, Tressa, age 24, said. I feared I'd never have another baby. My oldest daughter's not with me, therefore I feel guilty. I think about her first thing in the morning and last thing at night. I adore her. I'm not happy without her. It hurts me that Ariana will never know her big sister. At two years old, Tressa confessed she'd been raped by her 16-year-old brother. In 2008, the child was adopted. Devastated, she spent three years in and out of care institutions, abusing alcohol and heroin. She quit drugs at 18 and got pregnant with her 25-year-old boyfriend, Darren, but she miscarried. It made her remember how afraid and confused she was when she got pregnant so young. In 2014, a 12-year-old girl became Britain's youngest mother by giving birth five months earlier. The father was 13 years old, the youngest combined age of any British couple. Tressa volunteered to meet them and talk about motherhood. I don't know why I didn't speak. I was terrified. I dreaded thinking about it. The infant would go. I had no idea it would come from me. Chanel, now 14, arrived on October 4, 2004. I had no idea I was pregnant. When I got up from the sofa to finish my RE homework, my black trousers were soaked. I thought I'd peed. Then I got into the bath. The pain started. I chewed my hand, then a sponge. My mother came home with a friend. I cried in agony as I lay on my mother's bed. Call an ambulance, I cried. My eyes bulged. I punched my stomach in the bath one day. I just wanted it gone. I didn't imagine myself as a mother. I was 13. Two paramedics arrived. The wife was instantly alerted. You're having a baby, she remarked calmly. Suddenly, they took me to the hospital. My stomach was bandaged to listen for her heartbeat, so I assumed she was dead. I suddenly thought I'd lost my baby. I was devastated. Despite my denials for months, it made me love her more. The hospital gave me gas and pain treatment, and she was born naturally, weighing five pounds, seven ounces. Oh my God, I've got a daughter. I've got a daughter, I remember thinking at the time. The next morning, she was still there. I couldn't believe it. Social services verified everything in the hospital. A lady interviewed me and my lifestyle before visiting my home to assess its suitability. Everything was fine. Even though the father was older than me, no charges were filed. He has lost contact with Chanel and me. For the first two years of my daughter's life, I was a terrible mother. Because I had so many friends and supporters, everyone did everything for me. My adolescent pals would do everything for, I'll feed her, change her, they'd offer. I had to do nothing. I slept on the sofa for months. Whenever she was old enough, I would get up with her, take her to nursery, go to school, and then go to nursery. At 18, I moved out of my mother's house in Birmingham and into a two-person flat. I didn't go to GCSEs or A-levels, but I wish I had. My individuals who wanted the best for me pushed me out, but I wanted to do my examinations. When I was in my 20s, I moved to Kent, and today I work as a first officer for Thames Clippers. It makes me happy and successful. I've been there for three and a half years and been promoted several times.
I've been married six years and I adore my daughter. She'll start year 10 in September. She has excellent GCSE results and wants to study business at university. A cosmetics line is her dream. I'd be devastated if she got pregnant. I'd die. What a struggle for my mother. I do my best to protect her. I don't trust her too much. I want her to rely on me. It's strange to imagine I had a baby at her age. I used to cry easily. Then I craved a hit. Now I'm truly happy owing to my daughter. People compliment her on having a lovely mother. They believe I'm attractive and charming. And she says all the lads love me. She's proof that being a teen mother isn't fatal. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.